this video we are going to make another one project so this is our project all views are given here like a isometric view this is your front view you can see according to this direction this is your front view and this is your top view okay and you can see from the top and this is your right side view okay so all orthographic views are projected here according to first angular projection method okay so let's start i'm going to start from the front view okay so first of all which area we are going to create just you see i'm going to create this base plate first okay so first of all this section actually i am going to create you can see so from the front face you can see this section i am going to create okay so some dimension are given here you can see let's start okay so all dimensions are given here so next go to software and select your plane so i am selecting a right side plane because according to that drawing my front view was in right side that's why i am selecting a right side plane so just define values how much 56 mm and this value is 15 mm okay and the next another one inside rectangle i am creating actually okay after then i will trim all extra entities so just define this rectangle value is how much you can see here 32 mm so you can see 32 so just define this values 32 mm and then this line length you have to define how much 5 mm now just go for symmetry and make it symmetric with the reference of this axis this center line okay now just unwanted sketches actually we need this close section and now just extrude it to go for extrude then how much we are going to extrude just go for symmetric values okay so in both direction i am going to extrude what is the values you can see in isometric 75 mm and also in right side view you can see 75 mm so just define 75 divided by 2 because of symmetric value we take here so next next what you are going to do next we are going to create this section this circular section so where you are going to create this okay from the top plane you are going to create what where so some height is there okay you can see some rectangular sorry not rectangular circular shape was there so with the help of plane so first of all go and make a plane first from the uh, this base face change your direction and define that value is how much 63 mm and in this plane we have to create that circular portion circular part okay so let's say my orientation is correct or not so once click on some views so i am verifying it right now just go for isometric you can see yes so in this side we have to create actually now go for front so now you can get idea key you have to create your circle in this top area okay so simply create anywhere like a circle what circle with radius 18 mm so just define diameter 36 mm and another one circle is there inside circle with radius 20 diameter 22 just define diameter 22 mm okay now next what you have to do you have to define some position dimension so from this boundary to this circular center line what is the center point actually what is the distance 100 mm so just define 100 mm okay now you can see uh, this uh, sketch is not, not fully defined okay so actually we need uh, in a center but you can see your object right now can we move because this is not fixed with this origin point so select your origin point and this circular center point and define zero values or also you can uh, align with vertical line okay 
so any one of the methods you can apply so simply just you have to extort it okay so select your both circle and just extort it how much you have to extort so just to go to drawing and see how much value is 25 mm you have to extort so just define 25 mm and click ok okay so what is the next step next we are going to create this plate okay so for creating this plate you need to start from the front mid plane okay front mid plane you are going to start so let's start so hide this plane actually because this plane is disturbing okay so mid plane you have to take okay just uh, uh, remember we don't have to take any faces so just create a line from this corner point to uh, according to alignment of that edges okay just uh, take alignment so also you can create a line up to this corner point or also inside why i am creating like a inside i will show you later you will understand just see first simply i am connecting this both point or for line okay and this bottom point you can see here this bottom to this bottom okay and next what you have to do just define some dimension for this point actually for this horizontal line what is the distance 36 mm from this center axis or center point you can say 36 mm okay and we not need any another dimension okay so just to complete this profile okay so i am going to project this edges first also we can create or also we can project no issue just project it now we have to close this profile so some sorry now you can see here this profile is not fully coincident with the uh, top edges so select top edges and this uh, sketches just define value 0 mm or also you can align with horizontal line okay so any one of the method you can choose now close this profile because for extruding purpose we need fully closed profile so just i'm creating this line okay now trim your unwanted sketches so guys why i am creating this extra inside line you will see later just see okay so finish your sketch and now extrude it okay select your closed profile then go for symmetric okay symmetric value and what is the values just go and see here uh, 12 mm how much you have to apply 12 mm from the right side view also you can see 12 mm so just apply values 12 divided by 2 in 6 mm okay now you can see why i created this extra because of suppose you will create from this uh, quadrant point then you can't match that face okay so for matching that face i am creating that so just unite it and click ok now hide your sketches okay then clearly you will see sorry uh, unite it with that bodies also okay just a second again just unite this body okay no it can't be unite just a second i'm going for external uh, unite option just unite you all bodies now you can unite okay with the help of external uh, unite option okay now you can see so this is a one of the object next we are going to get hole you can see from the top plane also you can see hole so simply go for a sketch on this face and also you can use whole wizard option also you can create extrude cut so simply create a circle first anyway okay so while creating any sketch try to care about relations okay if you, you don't need any relation just about 
careful about that relation simply i am creating with dia 12 mm okay and define center to center distance what is the distance values let's go to drawing and see uh, from the isometric view you can see or from the right side also you can see how much 45 mm okay just define distance I'm sorry click double click on this values center to center distance just define 45 mm close it now another values also you have to define what values this horizontal position what is the distance of this position 28 mm just define for both circle 28 mm okay then next next what what we have to do we have to symmetric this okay make symmetric select both center point and then as a center line you have a x line okay now you can see your object is symmetric so some dimension i think two times i defined here so you have to delete some dimension okay again do symmetric so it should not be over defined okay so because of over over defined that was showing like that okay so right now also that is showing over defined no issue my sketches is created now go and extrude cut it change your direction and cut it until next so just subtract then click ok now you can see your object is your hole is created you can hide your all sketches just to go and see your isometric view okay you can see this is your view so like that with the help of this methods you can create easily if you want to verify just to go for different different views you can see this is the right side view okay this is the front view okay so just to verify it so because of i took this right side view as a front that's why in right side view you can see this front go for top view go for drawing and you can see because of according to orientation it is showing like that so no issue this is your isometric view actually 